Okay, so uh, yesterday I um I uh I painted. Obviously we're here. Oh, you probably can't even see that well. Weird lighting going on at the moment. I don't know if just create more glare. Yeah, so I painted my uh, impressive knife and I had some paint mixed up. It was like sort of an army colour, an army green, sort of like a camo style colour. I really wanted to use that, but uh, yeah, it was on a pot and I didn't have a compressor to put it through the gun, so I ended up uh, going back to a can of paint I had, which was a nutmeg colour, and uh, I just had to, I had to use that. But so, yeah, anyway, the engine is in, the 1.5 litre, 1MZ. Um, a couple of mates came around, so I had a, a two extra sets of hands working on this uh, to put it back in there, which was very helpful because. Um, yeah, it was a nightmare just trying to take it out by myself, so the extra help to put it back in was unreal. Um, I'm very appreciative of the yeah. help. Yeah, everything's good. Everything's talked yeah, out, like all the engine mounts and stuff. The engine I know, I, I talked to you. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, so I looked mounts and talked down, spec me up. I'm just going to put some gear oil in there, I think. I was trying to paint my uh, intake manifold black as well. Which uh, looks pretty nice. So I just got in the uh, gear oil, motor oil, and the radiator back in. And uh, yeah, it should be lava. Hopefully, anyway. I'm really worried about the first time. Very nervous. Because if something goes wrong, I mean, I have no idea what it is and how to fix it, so it's not going to be cool. See there, it's a... I just don't like it. I think it's really ugly, to be honest. I don't think it goes. I really wanted that green, but it uh, doesn't look too bad. But yeah, so that's it. Just connect all my hoses, run some fuel line. And uh, yeah, should be good. That's my little wire type too. Um, you can see that my wires go down that way now as opposed to where the whole loom was across the, the uh, fuel rail. That's really scratched up. Um, my wires for my coil packs run down here and go down into this mess here. Okay, this is it pretty much all back together I just need to screw the radiator support on it looks a lot better in this uh, film than it uh, than it really is because there's grass all over it oh that was another sticker there but I didn't bother cleaning it up too well got pretty impatient with this whole thing but um the colors sort of grown on me now that uh, most of it's covered up. It's a little bit more subtle than uh, than what I thought it was going to look like. So that's pretty good. That's a that is a good thing. Battery back in. I got to use the manifold. Got the guards back on. Looking pretty good. Tucked a bit of the wiring, not really tucked like proper floating engine tucked, but I uh, neatened it up a little bit and uh, hid some in behind the headlight. Over here I wasn't too worried about because it's not as if you uh, really see too much of it anyway. There's my fuel line. Not looking too different from uh, any of the other lines, despite having a braided sleeve on it. I still prefer the look of it. A bit of heat shrink at the end of it. Doesn't look that great, but... Does the job.
case I've swapped over the ECU barrel, the key and the what's it called the little, the little black thing, the, the transponder I think it's called. But uh, yeah, so that's all done. I'm just going to connect the battery now, and then it should be laughing. Hopefully, the medic one in there. Anyway. Turn on. This is it, the moment of truth. Put oil in there, put coolant in there, there's gear oil, we'll light the top up later. That might spot it a little bit. Everything's connected. There's nothing that isn't. Okay, I think this is it. I think I'm ready. Wow, everything. 